Lauren, thank you. A Green Party presidential candidate has spent the past two days campaigning in Plattsburgh. Local 22's Courtney Adelman caught up with Howie Hawkins to learn more about his campaign. At 12 years old, 1964, asked, where's my party? Founded in 2001, Howie Hawkins is a co-founder of the Green Party. He says the party is a place for people to go who want to change the current state of politics, especially young people. So we're trying to give them a place to go. And I can relate to that. I came up in the 1960s, saw the major parties dragging their uh, feet on civil rights and then escalating in Vietnam. And so I was an angry young man. And here I am. 50 years later, I'm an even angrier old man because the problems that should have been solved have not. Hawkins hopes to tackle climate change through what's called the Green New Deal, part of the National Green Party's platform. He says it's crucial to save the planet. Which is our answer to the climate crisis and the inequality crisis because it's a green economy reconstruction program to get us to 100% reduction in greenhouse gases and percent clean energy by 2030. Hawkins says many Democrats have adapted some version of the Green New Deal. They've taken the brand and they've diluted the content. They eliminated, well first of all they extended the deadline to get to uh, zeroing out greenhouse gas emissions from 2030 to 2050. And Hawkins feels the Green Party is needed to fight the nuclear arms race. So what I'm calling for is uh, the United States to pledge no first use. Around the world people are very concerned about this new nuclear arms race. And it's not even being raised by the two major party candidates. Right now, Hawkins says he is focusing on raising enough money to get on the ballot. But he hopes his campaign will put the Green Party on the map. We can make a big difference in terms of raising issues and getting ourselves in a place where we can start electing thousands of Greens to local office across the country. And Hawkins says it will take a million and a half dollars to even get the Green Party on the ballot. So he will spend the coming months in the coming year raising money and getting paid petitioners to officially be on the ballot. Live in the newsroom tonight, Courtney Adelman, Local 22 News.